I feel through my work that my relationship to nature is really strong. Um, I, from a young age, felt very much connected to the natural world. And today, I feel that it's really pressing that we, as we're discussing um, in various forums, that it's so important that we feel that we are a part of everything around us and that the animals that we live alongside are our neighbours and we're not dominant over them. But if I think back, I do in my heart feel like I've always felt when I've been in, in, natural, in the natural world um, that I've always felt that connection very strongly. I think through my work, especially in the tropics, I've learnt that um, the diversity on, on Earth is incredible and it gets no more incredible than in the tropics, which is just the pinnacle of diversity. And um, it's just immense respect for, for that evolutionary process that's left, led to just incredible systems where insects and plants have relationships and from the smallest to the largest. Um, and also what, what there is to lose when you go to, the, to somewhere like Borneo, for example, and you see clear cut, palm oil plantations and then next to it a severed line between that and the forest and then spend like I have done months in that forest filming the diversity that's there that sense of what's gone is overwhelming actually it's it's totally unbelievable that you could lose that much variety of life and people are just unaware of it and they see these palm trees and think that they are, that's nature. That's a hard lesson that I've learned through my work, but I've also learned that that, that, uh, that world is very beautiful. Um, have you ever had to sort of change your work ethos, not necessarily to be successful, but maybe to feel you're conforming to fit in? Did you ever feel like you had to change your values as a camera person, as a producer? to fit in to that male environment? I think um, in my working world, trying to fit in is, well, it's inevitable that you have to fit in. We work with teams of people and you go to, you'll be somewhere away, often in a remote location. So team cohesion is, is really important. There, are, there have been times when I've been with all male crews somewhere and there's no, you know, you're just there, there's nowhere else to go. And it's been a bit skewed, a bit overwhelming. Um, and, and, and I've always preferred it when there's more of a balance because I think for, for men and women, and I mean, there's plenty of men that go into those environments and find it hard as well because they'll be the ones that are really sort of ultra macho and competitive and then there'll be other guys who just are not and and that's challenging so alone with, with the male only environment is difficult but if you're going in as a woman that that's you, you you're just that's the crowd you've got you know and um and you sort of then probably i've probably li a lie with the the men that don't fit in quite as much with the other men and but it you know it's it's very much on their terms and um yeah some of the some of the jobs i've done you know you, i felt that it wasn't quite the dynamic i would have liked but mostly it hasn't been like that mostly it's been really good and i think this industry is quite self-selecting that if you're a particularly difficult person be it man or woman you don't actually get asked back to do another job so most people on location are are pretty good